If you've ever suffered with a yeast infection, you know how uncomfortable it can be. Here are my six simple tips for yeast infections. And this isn't just always in the area where you're experiencing the symptoms. Often an imbalance in your microbiome in the gut can be a predisposing factor to getting chronic yeast infections. And it's often because of this organism. And this is candida. If you've ever heard about candida cleanses, getting rid of candida can be a different difficult task, but with the right tips and doing the right things, it can be achievable, which is the great news. Some of the most common causes of having the chronic yeast infections, and especially the candida issue, include eating a lot of sweets. If you are overdoing it with the sugars, the carbohydrates, even the alcohol, this will feed the candida organism and be problematic in terms of having those yeast infections coming back. Also, if your immune system is compromised for whatever reason, this can make you more prone to the candida and the yeast infections. If there's poor hygiene in the area, if you're using a lot of body products that are changing the pH, this can also make you more prone to the yeast infections. As well as when we talk about mind-body medicine, anything that is affecting the second chakra, so this area of the body, can be related to, on the mental emotional sphere, unresolved relationship issues. The second chakra has a lot to do with relationships with others, and if there's unresolved energy there that has not been resolved, then this is something that can be causing your chronic yeast infection. So food for thought, something to think about. Here are my six tips though to really help with those yeast infections. Number one is to do that regular parasite and candida cleansing using specific herbal medicines that are known to help to kill off these less favorable organisms. Tip number two is to eat more live foods in your diet. What does this mean? This means probiotic containing foods. Things like sauerkraut, kimchi are fantastic. Grass-fed yogurts with the proper strains of those probiotics, really helpful as well. Kombucha is another favorite of mine to really get some of those good flora going. Some people may need to take a probiotic supplement though to really up their stores and their reservoir of those good microbiome organism. Tip number three is to eat less carbohydrates and sugar because sugar again will feed the candida making those yeast infections worse. So the less that you eat of course, the better it's going to be. And the more that you actually kill off those organisms and the candida, the less you'll actually be craving those carbohydrates and the sugar. Tip number four is to include more grass-fed meat and poultry into your diet. The unfortunate thing, if you are not a vegetarian and you're eating animal-based foods, unfortunately what those animals are fed, if it's not grass-fed or pasture-raised, are the foods contain antibiotics. And this can really mess up, even in these small, small amounts, in those meat products, this can still mess up your microbiome. So you want to be really aware of that. Tip number five is to have natural sunlight exposure, and especially if you can, on your abdomen. So lift up, you know, your clothing so that the sun can actually penetrate your gut because the microbiome in your gut is related to that sunlight and they have a connection and that circadian rhythm is entrained with the natural sunlight and the light of the day versus at nighttime. So try to do that. It will really help that microbiome. And tip number six for yeast infections is to have a high protein breakfast. And part of the reasoning here is to fix your leptin resistance, but also so having less carbohydrates, especially first thing in the morning, is a great way to start off your day. And then again, you won't be feeding those parasites and that candida with the sugar that it loves. Now for more tips how to get rid of parasites and candida, please check out my video, Nine Tips How to Get Rid of Parasites and Candida Naturally. I'll see you there.